Scatterfor analytics can be very effectively applied in a wide variety of situations. What follows is one example in which we use the R technology to validate the influence of an Arab and English language social media site, Mideast Youth, on conversations reflecting the Arab Spring. We met Mideast Youth founder Esra El Shafi at the 2011 Monaco Media Forum, where she was awarded the Monaco Media Prize by Prince Albert II of Monaco. Esra has been widely recognized for her work promoting freedom of speech and human rights. She is a senior TED Global Fellow and has been referred to by CNN as an outspoken defender of free speech. The Daily Beast has characterized her as one of the 17 bravest bloggers in the world. Out of concern for her physical safety, we are not showing you her image. Instead, we're using the online avatar she has chosen for herself. Here is Ezra to tell you a little about Mideast Youth. Oppression of speech and strictly government-controlled media reinforce political divisions. Without access to knowledge, people are vulnerable to manipulation. For this reason, we felt the urge to create Midi's Youth, an inviting and accessible space for youth to freely express themselves and exchange information, experiences, and opinions visibly involving minorities that have been censored and violently persecuted for decades. We provide a network of unique platforms that allow a highly diverse community to advocate for change throughout the Middle East and North Africa. For our analysis, we used our patented text block technology, which allows us to detect when near identical chunks of text are showing up in different places. This in turn allows us to detect influence, since of course, as the old saying goes, Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. We scanned websites in both English and Arabic and saw discussion of a wide variety of issues. I was very interested in the analysis created by Ketofora, which provides insight into a number of things I was not previously aware of and which in some cases were a bit of a surprise. We do maintain visitor logs that tell us who views our site and by which sources, but this graphic provides a different perspective, showing us the wide diversity of sites that pick up and repost particular kinds of information that appear on Midi's Youth. The graph shows that a significant topic that gets picked up by many prominent sites, including Forbes, relates to Kurdish issues. The Kurdish people are the largest stateless population in the Middle East. They face extreme persecution and there is very little international awareness of this cause. But we do see this changing thanks to the kinds of discussions we have on Midi's Youth. There are very few sites that discuss these issues and they can be very hard to find online, which I believe explains the large number of sites that reference Midi's Youth's postings on this topic. One of the most striking elements of the graph is the prevalence of sites dealing with LGBT issues, which stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Discussion around LGBT issues are for the most part censored by mainstream media outlets because they are considered to be a taboo topic, concerning the fact that homosexuality is punishable by death or imprisonment in many Middle Eastern countries. Publicly speaking about these issues is risky and also extremely frowned upon by our societies. The internet and informal networks such as the ones presented here are valuable means for members of these communities to reach out to each other with support or exchanging useful resources. Some of the sites that pick up mini youth material on LGBT sites are ilga.org, Queer Liberation Fund, Days Against Homophobia and ArabsForTolerance.org. This graph also shows us some interest from Asian sites and we believe that this is mostly because we frequently discuss migrant worker rights in the Middle East and many of the victims are South Asian construction workers or domestic workers. Examples of Asian sites include India Times and Thailand News. We see anti-Islamic sites that pick up posts from some of our contributors, particularly content from atheist bloggers. We consider it important to allow religious content that can sometimes be controversial. This helps foster an open and transparent society. Unfortunately, some of these posts can be used to fuel negative perceptions of Islam. And you can see this on sites such as jihadmonitor.org and islamwatch.org and other similar sites. This Mideast Youth example shows how Cataphorus text block detection technology can indicate the influence a single source can have on others. The same technology can be used more generally to track the spread of information, including unauthorized dissemination, for example. To learn more about Catafora's full range of technologies and the applications to which they can be put, please visit our website, www.catafora.com. <laughs>